Okay everyone, so this is part two. The last part we were done with installation of Spiceworks and now once you're done you just have to double click on it. Okay, and you'll see right here sample slash first slash it will just open up in a web browser. So this is gonna be your first time you will see this starting up. This might take some few minutes. It depends how much, how many workstation do you have, and uh, if you have too many, then it will take a little more time. I have only one workstation over here, so one or two. We'll check. So the first time you will see this right here, and you should make a um, an email address. I mean, it can be your company email, or you can make another email. For testing purposes, I just made one, which is. Uh, this one right here. Okay. And your password. Here, sample, sample, student, and nonprofit passcode. Eight seven. All right, so you can. I will just uncheck it right now. You can do whatever, but the first time you will just launch it, and it says that my. Okay, so I just fixed the password problem, and it will be creating my account right now. All right, so it looks like it's working. Okay, so here you can see right here is my email address that shows that I'm in the system right now and uh, I successfully downloaded Spiceworks and this is the new uh, version and it's kind of a little bit different than the old one but you'll still work on it. Uh, here you'll see everything in your uh, company. If you have servers, it will pick up right away. Uh, it will say that uh, you have to do the scan first to uh, get all these servers whatever you have in your company uh, you might don't you might not even know if let's say if someone is uh, connected to your system and they're using your um, inform uh, your system and try to go online and everything you will you'll find that out too so the first time it will ask you this scan my entire network scan only my computer uh, if you have 25 computers and uh, I would do this one and the first one will do this so let's click on scan my entire network okay so then it will ask you this question uh, does this account the one that you logged in it, do you have any like you need to be an admin uh, so this is a good way to scan everything so let's say you're admin you made all these accounts I'm sure that a lot of people use same username and password for all the desktop so you'll just say yes and continue Alright, so once you click on the scan network, it will start scanning and you can see right here, scanning network, it will do, uh, it will just gather information in your system and see what's connected and uh, you will get a result right now. And once you click on inventory, it will say that once it's scanning, it's just going to say everything is scanning, scanning. So you have to wait till the scanning is done, then you will see the results. So you can see right now that it uh, detected a one workstation and then two unknown devices. Since I'm using a virtual machine, it might be these two, that might be the two ones. But still it is scanning other processes. So you can you can just you can do other work while it's scanning, but you can see what is inside this workstation. You can click on it and probably you'll see 25 or a sample like how many if you have 50 workstations you will see right here. This will tell you what operating system are on those machines, what software are there, what license, it's all that information in one place. So then you can have a check on them, uh, a memory or whatever you need from one PC. Okay, you can see that it's the same machine that we are using right now and it says sample and we are going to check what's in this sample machine. You can just click on it or you can all 
all right then once you click on it it'll tell you what really it is actually it's a virtual box and it all is exactly right every all the information in this system is uh, it's so true like everything is working great so it'll tell you what processor are you using your uh, operating system the your service pack 3.0 and then your memory is 622 that which i gave it to this machine and then it will tell you what is this um, manufacturer the manufacturer is actually here a uh, virtual box so it's not it is the one but usually you will see a model number of the computer cpu for example dell 280x or um lenovo or whatever computer are you using so then it will tell you and then here you can see what's going on configuration notes documents you can click on the software and it will tell you what software are installed in this virtual machine so then you can keep track of there's illegal software you can take it out uh you can uh, if, do a lot of stuff here so it says five uh, not not a lot of stuff are in this computer because it's just for testing so you can see all this windows xp pro internet explorer and all that stuff so you will see all your software right here uh, and on the right side i'll give you a product key number everything uh the dates it's uh installed it's it will tell you that these are the dates it was installed so if there's a wires attack and you know that it, it was caused with that software you can check the dates over here okay once you click on uh, configuration you can see all other stuff and here you can also see the same stuff but here you can see local disk you can see how much um, uh, space is there how much remaining and what's the total size over here and it will give you the C drive um, information over here and then at bottom it will give you all the DNS server and what are, what is your um, provider MAC address and everything for the computer uh so f general info i mean you can do a lot of stuff here that means you can have this overall control or overall look at what's going on in your environment uh, if you are a business owner or you're a boss so you want to check everything now we are done with this inventory you can check everything from here so now we're going to go to a place where it's called tickets uh, or user portal uh, user portal is very important because you want to interact with your with your users some way uh, you want to have this one page or company website that you want information right there like calendar events anything that is coming up and you want your user to be informed so we will click on this user portal over here and we'll start making a portal for users so once you click on user portal you'll see this message right here manage content and everything you can read through it but we'll just go through quickly um, you can do a lot of stuff you just have to be uh, I mean you have to just study Spikesverse and see a lot of documents from the Spikesverse support so you can get more other things we'll just go for simple stuff and click on customize and it will take you to the portal where you will be editing the site and for example this is your little site in your internet or inside the company um, that you want your users to be um, accessing it so now you see by default they give you uh, a very good uh, layout you can start from here and your company portal will to change this you'll just go to preference right here click on it and Sorry, we gotta click on it. Okay, so once you click on it and you see right here, you can change your company name. Uh, your company name can or company name was sample, and then you can change the color. Uh, I want this one, so I change it right away, and you say save, and then right here you will see the difference now. And here you go, we have a sample here. So now here is your welcome to new ID portal, or you can say welcome to any anything you can put any message over here um, what is this uh, complete the form below to get started your email address once you plug in your email address it will take you to a ticketing system so for example on um, my email is Dan desktop I'm a user and I want to write a ticket down to uh, you uh, or uh, IT and desktop I'll just write my, my email and I'll just log in once you click on login it will take you to this right here for help um, and 
um, um, once you write your email is just make sure that uh, when you write a ticket you have the name in there you can you can just write a ticket without a name so you will know who this person is and who are you uh, try to help so here summary I need help blah 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 and submit the request you can choose a document in here if you have like a snapshot of wires or anything you can you can still you can do that too so once you submit it will give you a number ticket five I need help and it's gone to uh, it is it is it went to IT department so here you will see um, uh, open help requests are right here I need help and this is a ticket number so that was to submit a ticket if you have a problem if your users have a problem they wanna they wanna tell you and there's some way to um, organize the whole ticketing system and this is your free ticketing system is extremely great you can put your company phone numbers here some important links if they want to like for example HR links or all that stuff they can just click on it and go to that link without um, uh, putting on the desktop all the time again because a lot of people uh, delete it somehow or if anything there you can put all these links in here all the important information about your com company that they always or every time they need uh, help support or a police um, emergency numbers or anything like that you can put it right here on the top so you have a company name here you have a welcome your company description and then you have a ticketing system here you can take out whatever you want you can just click on remove and it will remove the whole section out of, uh, from the area so let's say I don't want it on the front page I'll remove this I just want my information my company information and then you can edit this stuff too you can just click on edit and then over here you can do whatever you want to like so if you have experience with HTML stuff and you, know, you want to put some links in the, on the front page you can just click right here insert a link or you can just click on the source and uh, start typing HTML and whatever you want it um, you can get it this is like uh, working on a website so you can do it right here